to my point to point guitar tutorial. You might have seen that I mentioned in the comments or descriptions of other videos that I might be doing a, a tutorial of this one. Um, finally got around to doing it and taking a little step away from the pyrophobia for now, but we will get back to it. Um, and this one's going to be tried to cram into one whole video. Um, the slow playthrough at the end like usual. And if you need to, there's always the little gear you can click and slow down for half speed or 75% speed. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's get right into it. We're gonna start out with the opening intro part. So we got our pinky on the 16th fret of the first string, our middle finger on the 15th fret of the third string, ring finger on the 16th fret of the fourth string, and index finger on 14th fret of the fifth string. And we're gonna do like a cascading pick, so we're kind of like picking every other string. So we got first string, third string, second string, fourth string, third string, fifth string, string, sixth string, fifth string. If you don't have an eighth string, that's completely fine. With either a sixth or seventh string, the same thing works. You can, you can kind of, as long as it's making up that rhythm, you can't really go wrong. You'll still have the same, like, really sound. You're just not going to get that low, low from the strings that would be on a seven or eight string. So let's get right into the main part of the song. So we got our index finger on the 12th fret of the 6th string. We downstroke that, pull off to the open, and then pick the 12th fret again, hammer on the 16th fret with your pinky, slide to the 18th fret with your pinky. So what we just did, that's what we got. And then from there, our index finger bars off the 5th and 4th string on the 14th fret. And we do a, a still sweeping down. We got downstroke, downstroke, hammer on the fourth string to the 16th fret. Middle finger goes to the 15th fret of the third string. Open B string and pinky on the 16th uh, fret. So this is the same chord shape that we played in the intro as well, which is kind of cool. Same thing. But we're kind of arpeggiating it in a really cool way. So right from there, then our middle finger goes to the seventh fret of the fifth string, sixth fret of the fourth string, and ring finger on eighth fret of the third string. Downstroke, downstroke, downstroke. So we're doing a sweep there. Throughout the song, we're trying to grab these chord shapes and sweep through them so we can let them all ring out together. So. In, in some cases, when you're sweeping, you don't want them to ring out together. You want them to be more muted. But in this case, we want them to ring out together. So we got... So we got down, down, down. Pinky's on the ninth fret of the first string. And we play that with the B string together. So we're not doing any upstrokes in this whole thing so far. This is all down sweeping. After we play those two strings there, um, we're gonna mute the strings, just hold, hold your left hand, your fretting hand over the strings and mute. And we're gonna do a little upstroke, anticipating the next beat, which is our fourth fret of the eighth string or fourth fret of the sixth string. Both work equally well. You know, one sounds a little cooler because it's got an eighth string, but you can definitely do this on sixth string. Our middle finger on the fourth fret of the eighth string, in my case, or sixth string in whatever case, and we're gonna put our ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, index finger on the third fret of the third string, pinky on the fourth fret of the first string. So we got... And we're really only trying to get those four strings, right? We're not trying to get... You don't want to get these open strings that are in between. Just try, try to be really precise and practice only getting those four. Middle finger goes to the ninth fret of the third string. We downstroke and or or upstroke, whatever works, and we pull off to the eighth fret. Middle finger goes up to the ninth fret of the fourth string. Slide up to eleven, and then a big stretch. But your pinky's gonna hammer on the 14th fret of the fourth, fourth string. So we kind of got... So we kind of got... So that's the first half, and now the second half we have the same starting point. 
This is the same mute upstroke. And instead of going to the fourth fret here, we're gonna go take the exact same shape and move to the ninth fret. So our middle fingers on the ninth fret of the sixth string or eighth string, our ring fingers on the ninth fret of the fourth string, index finger on the eighth fret of the third string, pinky on the ninth fret of the first string. And we do the exact same thing there too. And then from there, nine on the third string, pull off to the first finger. And then we're gonna slide from ninth fret to 11th on the fourth string. And then we hit, we kind of fold down our middle finger and get the 11th fret of the third string below it. Or you can do with your ring finger if you don't wanna fold your finger down, that's completely cool too. Now from here, this is where we get into something new. So now we get to this part, which is a little bit different. We're gonna put our middle finger on the 11th fret of the fifth string and the ring finger on the 11th fret of the fourth string. Pinky's on the 13th fret of the third string, index fingers on the ninth fret of the second string. And you'll notice the 13th fret and the ninth fret are the same note, they sound the same. And this type of technique is kind of useful because you can displace your melody like a 16th note later. Downstroke on the sixth string, open. And then what I do is I skip the second string with the downstroke, but I actually upstroke it. So I don't downstroke all the way to the second string, I upstroke from the second string upwards. So we go. And then that's when we shift our index finger up a string and our pinky goes to the 12th fret of the second string. And that's also two upward sweeps there. So we have. Then we jump quick, 14th fret of the fifth string, 16th fret of the fourth string and middle finger on 15th fret of the third string. And we just do a down, 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 down. A little bit of a tricky technique, but we use our ring finger to bar off these uh, seventh string, sixth string, and fifth string on the 16th fret. If you have a sixth string, you can just do those two. Play those. And then your middle finger and your first finger go to the 16th fret of the fourth string, 15th fret of the third string. And we, and we just strum down. And then our index finger bars off the 14th fret, the same strings. And then that's when we do 14 on the fifth string, 16 on the fourth string, and 15 on the third string. And we just do a strum down as well. This is the, the last little part before we repeat the drums and the distorted guitar come in. In my version, the distorted guitar is not there yet because we haven't done it yet. So we got 12th fret there on the sixth string using our first finger to bar off 11 and 11 on the fifth and fourth string, ring finger on the 13th fret of the third string. So we got down, 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 down. So we're gonna sweep. And then we jump our index finger over to the ninth fret of the second and third string, barring those two down, ring finger on the 11th fret of the fourth string. Up, 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 so upward sweep. And then pinky goes on the 12th fret of the second string and do an, uh, an upward sweep again. From there we got 9th fret on the 3rd string and 13th fret on the 4th string, 11th fret on the 5th string, pull off, hammer on to, to 11 to 9 to 11. So this is upward sweep again. And we do that twice. So after this part then we repeat again and we repeat three times for this whole section. Starting there and ending off. So we repeat that whole section three times. On our third time around, then we're adding three more of these. Now we get to the outro part and we're gonna start with our index finger barring off the sixth fret of the fourth and third string. So like a little bar there. Uh, our pick plays the lowest string. If you have an eighth string, seven string, six string, all of them work. All three work, they sound great. And our middle finger is gonna do a hybrid pick and pick the fourth. Uh, pinky hammer on's nine, then your pick comes down. Six, down, down, up, up, up. So 
that's when we ha uh, go to the ninth fret with our ring finger on the fourth string. Middle finger goes to the eighth fret on the third string. First finger bars off fret seven and seven, second and first string. And we hammer on fret nine on the first string with our ring finger. And it's really important to just get your sweeping motions right, the, the direction that you're picking, because it makes it a lot easier if you can sw kind of smoothly sweep through rather than having to worry about like alternate picking something. Now we do a big jump to the 16th fret of the fourth string. We're gonna pluck the fifth string and the fourth string together, open fifth string, hammer on the 16th fret of the fourth string, and we're gonna be barring off basically all of the 16th fret with our index finger, and our pinky's gonna sneak into fret 19 of the second string. Down, hammer on, down, 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 up, up. That's when we strum these, this three note triad. It's kind of, a, it's a little tricky at first because you need to change the shape of your hand because you're sliding to a different chord shape. You slide to fit your pinkies on 16 of the second string, indexes on 14 of the third string, and rings on 14 of the fourth string. All right, then our pinky goes to the 14th fret of the second string and our ring finger goes to the 13th fret on the third string. So we got our pick playing either our eighth, seventh, or sixth string, whichever is available. And we're doing a hybrid pick. So our middle finger and ring finger pluck the second and third string. Slide down to 12 and 11. Index finger bars off nine. Then we slide up to 13 with our index finger and pinkies on 16 and 15. But the harder you press, you can get a nice slide sound out of it. And then from there, 13 and 13 on the third and fourth string. Index finger to fret 11 on the fifth string. Slide down to nine, 11, 11. And then back up to 13. And then go to six, eight, and eight. And zero, six, six for your last one. So I'll do this part here really. Forgot to mention that on the six, eight, and eight, we're supposed to add a little bend. So we can either start with the bend, which is called a pre-bend, or we can just pick it straight and then add a little bend after. On your last chord, when you're barring off that six and six, pick through it like a really fast sweep, but not, not like a strum, but just like a, articulate each string and that, that'll kind of help you have a more clear end like he does in the song. Instead of So after that, then we repeat that whole outro section one more time. Um, there's absolutely no difference. Uh, just make sure on your last chord, you hold it longer so it can ring out and sustain super nice. Cool. <laughs>